Paragraph 43, I had a question coming out of chapter four. I'm gonna combo numbers 89 and 90 just because they deal with the same problem. Um, so the probability that the San Jose Sharks will win any given game is about 37% based on their history. And we're gonna keep track of this next month where they play 12 games. So the variable we're gonna keep track of ultimately is the number of games the Sharks win in the next 12 games. And this is a discrete numerical variable. So I could make, oops, let me write discrete. I could make a table for it if I wanted to. I could make a PDF table, but I'm gonna go ahead and check if it's binomial because again, if it's binomial, I get some stuff. I get some formulas. So if I look, I did have a fixed number of trials. I'm gonna keep track of these sharks for the 12 games. I'm gonna call a success winning a game, right? And then I'm gonna assume that the trials are independent and they're telling me historically their probability of success is that they win about 37% of the time. They gave me this number, 0.3694. So, okay, that's where you see me writing that their distribution is binomial, 12 trials, probability of success, right? So I just wanna reiterate this right here. This is a distribution. It tells me how the probabilities are distributed. If I made that table, and I don't wanna do it, but if I made that table from zero games they could have won all the way up to 12 games, I could assign all 100% down here based on a binomial formula, right? Based on binomial PDFs. But this question for, for 89 asked us for the expected value, the expected number of games won. And anytime you hear expected, they're asking you to find an average, right, or a mean. And if we look at the binomial formula for average, it's n times p, so you see me doing 12 times about 37%, meaning that in the next 12 games, I think the Sharks are gonna win about 4.4 of them, all right? And then for, for 90, it said, what was the probability that they'll win six games in the next month? So if I want them to win six games, that means I want to find, and I'll, I'll change pen colors here, I would like to find, oh, let's not use pink, let's go green, whatever number was under six. That's the one I want. If I could figure out whatever this probability was, I'd be good to go. And so in terms of what expression goes in the parentheses, right, I have my letter of X, my number of six, and if I want to win exactly six games, I'm going to put the equal sign. Well, anytime you have that equal sign, we're going to go with binomial PDF. So I've got 12 games, 37% chance of winning, and I want six wins. And we come to find out that you have about a 15% chance of making that happen. And just to round this out, in case you had a question on 91, it says, what's the probability that the Sharks win at least five games? So if we think about at least five games won, all right, if I want to do at least five, that's like saying five or more. But if I want to put it in terms of math symbols, I'm going to use that greater than or equal to. So let me go redo this table, and let's think about what would make it into that table. So let me go x, p of x, and I'll start with 0, 1, and then let's get to the more interesting ones like 4, 5, 6, and let's head up to 12. So what I'm going with here, let me erase what I have. If I want to think about x is greater than or equal to 5, Let's think about the numbers we want to include. So I do not want to include zero. Oops, what happened there? So here we go. I do not want to include zero. Zero is not greater than or equal to five. One is not greater than or equal to five. Four is not greater than or equal to five. But as you can start to see, five is greater than or equal to five, six is greater than or equal to five, all the way up to 12. So I want all of these numbers but I do not have a greater than or equal to button on my calculator. I do have a less than or equal to. So if I flip how I'm looking at this, I want to exclude, oops, sorry, I thought that was gonna be the highlighter. I wanna exclude all of these numbers. So if I want five on up, I do not want four on down, which is why you see me throwing that out with the complement rule. And I do have a button for less than or equal to, it's binomial CDF. I plug that in and I get about 47%, all right? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.